I wanted to share this short documentary with you because it's just so touching. It's about Debki dance as a hobby. These guys are just hobbyists and they just get together and Debki and they, the joy of it, just for the joy of it. There's no performance going on. They just have connected. And something that really touched me here was when they talked about holding hands and how it's a sign of connection and brotherhood and love. And it's just, it's just like such a profound thing, especially at this moment in life when we are in a quarantine and we feel a little bit separated. So the depth of that connection really touched me. I dare you not to smile when you watch these guys dance, especially the little boys. They're just, oh, they're so, so cute. And they talk about Debki being part of their, their soul, Ruhi, Ruh. And it just like, ah, oh, that word, it just, it, it just kind of fills my soul. And when I watch them do this dance and how dance needs to be and come from a place of joy. I, I talked about that a little bit in my recent webinar is, is do, do, are you dancing for others or you dance for yourself? And that's, that's something I've always said and I will continue to say. First, you have to dance for the love and passion for the dance for you. And then you share it with others. It's all about the joy of it and sharing that joy with others. So I hope you guys enjoy this little bit of, of Debki. It's a, it's a short documentary and you know, with all the things that are happening in Lebanon, it's nice to shed a little bit of spotlight, a little bit of awareness of what's happening on that side of the globe and to find some of the joy about that culture, about Lebanese culture. Lebanese culture is, is, is pretty close to me. I grew up in the Lebanese nightclubs. I danced at Biblos for many years and also Middle East Connection, which was owned by the Georges family, Lebanese family, and how they took me in as a family member and they, you know, they helped me. It was part of my dance education doing all those Lebanese weddings and being part of the Lebanese culture. Um, as an outsider, they really welcomed me in. And also, my husband is Lebanese. So it's a little bit a part of my life for many years, and I'm just so um, honored to share these beautiful things of their culture and something I've been a fan and a supporter of for many, many years. So hope you guys enjoy it. Can't wait to hear your feedback and comments about it. So put a, put a comment below, and we'll see you guys soon.